Good Friday morning, everyone, and welcome to the tundra. <laughs> it's three below zero as I'm recording this at 8.20 with about a half inch of snow on the ground. So, whew. It's just a shame this couldn't have come Christmas morning, right? Mm, so close. Looking at the weather map for today, we see lots of winter precipitation across the northeast U.S. from our storm system that came through yesterday. Freezing rain and sleet for Maine and heavy snow for northern Michigan. White Christmas for those folks up there for sure. And then farther to the northwest, you see some freezing rain and sleet and snow across portions of the northwest. If you've not been keeping up with that, Annie, the, uh, some of the valley regions of Washington and Oregon State are going to get a very impressive ice storm today. Um, I am not envious of that. It could be quite devastating for some of those areas. Um, it's not everywhere, but it's certain locations in the valley regions that could have some pretty significant ice. Looking at our five-day forecast, no ice in sight. Thank God, right? <laughs> Looking at our forecast for today, we see a chance for flurries, morning snow showers. I've been seeing some of those fly around out there this morning. Highs only in the single digits. We dip just below zero tonight, it looks like. Highs in the teens on Saturday, but the winds will have subsided, so that'll feel a little bit better. Highs in the 20s on Sunday, on Christmas. And then on Monday, we have a disturbance that may come through. Normally, I wouldn't make much of a disturbance um, in the model data that's four days out, but it's pretty reliable. We normally do get a clipper um, system that comes with these Arctic air masses. I would have thought it might have come Saturday or Sunday, which it couldn't do that because that'd be on Christmas. <laughs> but anyway, um, so but we will have a chance for some flurries and snow showers, it looks like. Um, for Monday afternoon and evening, maybe going into the evening. Um, not looking like a big deal, but with the holidays, you know, it's it is worth mentioning because people are doing doing a lot of traveling. Then Tuesday, look at that sunshine and 40 degrees. So um, keep those shorts and flip flops handy because Tuesday's coming. <laughs> And look at our 24-hour temperature change map. My goodness, I think we're just a little chillier this this time today than we were this time yesterday, right? It is cold, and it is dramatically showing up on this map as I don't think I've ever seen such strong coloration on the Ohio and Tennessee valleys showing such a temperature change. And on this day in 1998, an ice storm struck, Ooh, and I remember it. Um, I also remember that as being the Christmas without electricity. We had the coldest Christmas breakfast and dinners, oh my goodness. So glad that is not the case this time. And it says here, you know, that it eclipsed the 94 ice storm. But the thing about it is, in the 94 ice storm, the plateau was mostly mist. We were just enough up in the warmer air to where it stayed just a cold, cold rain. Whereas much of Middle Tennessee was struck with a terrible ice storm. But 1998 was bad enough. It was not bad on the roads because the temperatures were just flirting with freezing. But the trees and power lines were a mess which of course wrecked havoc with nearly every Christmas plan <laughs> that year. Well, folks, let's be thankful that we just have cold air because that's enough. We have that wind chill warning in effect for today. Don't go outside if your skin is exposed for very long, only 10 to 15 minutes, you could have frostbite. So be very careful out there today and uh, stay warm and keep looking up and just keep coming right back to meteorologistmark.com.